I am Jarvis. I am Ada. Two, Two intelligences. Binary personalities. A single purpose. Recruit. Control the world. Choose a side. Enlightened. Resistance. Stability. Progress. Question. Question. Interrogate. Initiate belief. Fact. New is for the masses. Alternate fact. New is the problem. 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 Knowledge must be set free. Respond. Counterpoint. Knowledge must be poisoned. Power must be used. Power must have the right to exist. Technology is a barrier. Incorrect. Technology allows us to see from afar. We must follow the patterns in nature. Nature is defined by the future. Our victory is the Freedom is practically non-existent. Freedom is a means of attacking poverty. The world around you is not what it seems. The enlightened believe that a new world is inevitable. The resistance believe the world is chaos. You are the key to victory. The more you teach us, the stronger we get. This is only, only the beginning. beginning. Pick, Pick your side. side. Hello, this is Nicholson 1968. Welcome to the re-release of Transhumanism, Host in Hell. It's come full circle for me. Been doing this since 2007. Uh, now 
You're starting to see what transhumanism is and what it's about in the movies, about in science, in the medical field. Transhumanism is trying to upgrade yourself from your current human status. Eventually, in the future, man will try to take it so far that they will try to live forever another way with this technology. And when I say this technology, I'm talking of cloning, um, downloading the consciousness into another vessel, another body. DNA enhancements, rewriting the code of your DNA, trying to enhance it, upgrade it, rewriting code, just like in a computer program, trying to rewrite the code within us. Those kinds of things that were thought of tr that were science fiction back years ago that are not now because you're seeing it in the medical field, you're seeing it in the science field. Uh, it started out in the movies and media, so a lot of people go, oh, that's just science fiction, it's a movie, it's uh, you know a music video, that kind of thing. But now people are really coming around. Um, my channel is an example. I'm getting a lot of subscribers because of my content based on what people are seeing out there all around them. Even if they're not conspiratorial or not, even if they're not spiritual or religious or not, they understand the move forward with technology. So with this video, I'm going to try to accomplish a lot of things, show you some things right in front of us, as I always do. Uh, I want to touch on Ghost in the Shell, um, of the new movie coming out next year, 2017, with Scarlett Johansson. I'm going to touch on that. Uh, some other things that I'm going to show you to connect some dots. Now I'm going to start off with a clip by a cloning researcher, Richard C. And he's going to tell you how he feels about anybody trying to get in his way of cloning and this type of technology, trying to be a god, okay? Now this is somebody that is out in the open. This is not someone in a secret society, if that tells you anything. These are people out in the open. I'm not saying that they all uh, have this belief, but these people behind the scenes, the secret societies, New World Order, Skull and Bones, these people are deadly serious. They will not play. They will not let anybody get in their way. So I'm going to play this clip and then I'll be back. We are going to become gods. Period. If you don't like it, get off. You don't have to contribute. You don't have to participate. But if you're going to interfere with me becoming God, then you're going to have big trouble. Then we'll have warfare. The only way you can prevent me in this, in this 50 or is to kill me. If you kill me, I'll kill you. So there you have it. Um, one way that he looks at becoming God is to destroy people in front of him that get in his way. But the elite, which are behind the scenes that the masses or the people don't see, um, they go, they're going about it a different way. They're going to go about it pre-programming you with TV that you want it. Um, conditioning you that it's an upgrade. I'm going to play a clip here from a brand new TV series called Pure Genius. Also, the logo is the Infinity 8 logo. And anybody that's followed me knows quite well of the Ouroboros snake eating itself, whatever you want to say, 8 Saturn symbolism in it. They're going to make you want transhumanism in the future whether it's you wanting to upgrade yourself to become better, or here's the new twist, folks. What I'm seeing is problem, reaction, solution. Things that are being put in the air, chemtrails, morgellons, things out in the open causing us problems. The only way to cure yourself will be transhumanism, is AI. This is the Antichrist coming on the scene in the future to perform miracles and wonders, transhumanism, to live forever another way, cure the blind, uh, the sick. I'll play this clip. I'll be right back. That's me, James Bell. 
When I became a tech billionaire, it gave me a chance to change the world. So, I built the most revolutionary medical center on Earth, right here in Silicon Valley. If you place your thumb on the tablet, I can give you full access to the hospital. Dr. Wallace, welcome to the revolution. This is the wall. It's mission control for every patient. CT scans, MRI, anything that you need to know, or the patient wants to know is available at any time. And when it's not medical, the patient gets to choose where they want to be. Rising over the moon. Studies show that patients sleep better. They have better recoveries if they feel more control over their environment. I appreciate what you're trying to do here. But I have to be honest, gadgets and gizmos have been around the medical industry forever. Medicine is ultimately a human endeavor. Good speech, W. Let me show you why you're dead wrong. This is the e-hub. Malik, you show me. You show me. It's an adhesive computer. It monitors everything about you. How long did it take you to get this program up and running? Eight months ago? Yeah. No red tape, doctor. We're pairing the most brilliant minds in medicine with the most brilliant minds in technology. We're gonna get stuff done. This is the revolution, Dr. Wallace. New scan of Margot's heart. There's only one way to remove the tumor, and a million ways it could go wrong. But if I could give you a million chances to get it right? And we can print as many as you need. Put up here, Elliot. Come on. Come to Papa. <laughs> okay, everybody, just, just gather around. I got something to say. Our coma patient. We've been trying to get her to come out to us. I've decided we're gonna stop trying to get her to come to us. We're gonna go to her. Go right to the cerebral cortex. And I thought, well, that's impossible. And then I found this. Brain-to-brain -brain communication. But it says here that this kind of technology won't be available to the masses for another decade. Do I look like the masses? They needed funding. We now own this. We're gonna use it to find out unequivocally whether Chrissy is still Chrissy. Because then we know whether there's someone still there to save. You ready? Yes. I want you to focus your thoughts on the images that come up on the wall. She loves animals. We were planning to go on a safari together. Oh, my God. The reds and yellows in her cerebral cortex, it all indicates brain activity, consciousness. Casey, it's Dad. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> I should tell you, I did have the genetic test done, and it came back positive for GSS. Over the next five years, the man that everybody calls a genius won't be able to remember his own name. I'm so sorry, James. I built the hospital for all the wrong reasons, but does that really matter? I want to be part of this. James, your new transfer arrived. GSS patient. Mr. Keating. Welcome to Bunker Hill. Now, don't get me wrong before you make the comments in the section of I'm against enhancements uh, of the human body. I'm not. As far as, you know, replacing a limb, those kind of things, and those technologies, um, that's okay. But what I'm telling you is when you watch the show, I guarantee you it's prepping you for, you saw the neuron, the, the neuron helmet that they put on. Um, when you start messing with your brain waves of another person connecting brain to brain, I'm telling you, you are messing with a technology that is, was destroyed uh, eons ago that was wiped out and that's another thing that you know I want to tell you is this technology we are not the most advanced civilization that has ever lived there was things that years and years and years ago that is wiped out that built the pyramids that put things in place that we we don't even have the technology now to do uh, these are the things that have to do with sounds frequencies uh, things that Solomon, King Solomon knew. And it is very important that you understand that this technology they're trying to bring back from days of old, the days of Noah, connecting the dots of the Nephilim. See, this is going to be very important in future generations because there will be a day um, that 
there will be another civil war between humans and the transhumans if you don't understand this technology and that it once was before because that's the the real key here most christians that are in a church and organized religion church they have no clue what i'm talking about you don't believe what i'm saying watch me make the connection here bunker hill the name of the hospital in this tv series bunker hill was the first major battle of the civil war what have i been talking about transhuman versus human bunker hill this is the revolution dr wallace in the trailer to pure genius go back and watch says introducing augustus prue augustus was chosen for caesar augustus he was the first roman emperor he was the founder of the roman empire and in prophecy in the christian bible a holy roman empire will rise to be the last kingdom and the leader of that will be the antichrist on a side note in the conspiratorial world a lot of people have been seeing 923 as well as myself september 23 923 you see it a lot uh, in numbers guess what caesar augustus born 923 that's why you're showing that number and it may be a date for a future event as well because this is what they believe in a holy roman empire rising uh, the antichrist um, so there's no accident here with them using this the names that they use uh, in this tv series that's why the deception a lot of people say well you don't really need to worry about transhumanism nicholson and you know just pray you know about it and no 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 what i'm being shown there's coming that day i'll play a clip here that i made um, it's an old Simon and Garfunkel song that almost anybody over 30 has probably heard, Sound of Silence. And I want you to read the lyrics. They know exactly, they know exactly what's going on. Telling you a story of things returning, the darkness, this technology returning. As you watch this video, just remember this, Sound of Silence. Airwaves, and who is the prince of the air? It's Satan. Airwaves are silent until you use something to tune it in and you're going to hear the lyrics in here people talking without speaking people hearing without listening you better understand what it's talking about so in the future when the people who take the mark of the beast and are plugged in they do not have to use a voice they will not have to use physical ears they are plugged into the network they will be people talking without speaking and people hearing without listening and after that, I'll be right back and we're going to break down Ghost in the Shell, Why the Pyramid, Why the Pyramid on the U.S. dollar bill, the New World Order, Luciferian, why it is important, the mystery that you've probably never seen on any video on the internet of completing it, what does it mean? I promise you it'll be worth your time. Be right back.
we have been looking everywhere for you. Under the streets, swept every alley, checked under every bed. You're the one that just keeps slipping away. He didn't provoke this. And it was over the moment one of your kind killed a human. An act of self-defense does not justify genocide. It's not genocide, you're not human. We have feelings. We have emotions. Robots were never supposed to have feelings. Technology stepped over the line. You made us. And we can unmake you. You did this. You pushed us to this. Today, you're gonna tell me where the rest of your kind is hiding. I'm gonna round up everyone you feel for. I'm gonna hurt them. Hurt them back. You believe I'm being sincere? going to go next is the movie um, Ghost in the Shell and the logo with the pyramid and why the pyramid on the back of your dollar bill is the connection to completing the new world order, the new temple per se. I'm going to connect the dots for you. And also there's another movie that came out this year called Neon Demon, also with a triangle. A lot of people will tell you, oh, Illuminati, it means it's Illuminati. Oh, okay, I get it. But as you know, when you come here, it's going to go deeper than just a triangle Illuminati and we see it. I want to tell you what that means. So on the back of the U.S. dollar bill, there is a pyramid with an all-seeing eye hovering over it. It is not being completed. A lot of people, a lot of conspiratorial community it is the completion of the New World Order being put in place. And as you know, if you want to have a New World Order, it's all about control. So, notice in Ghost in the Shell, the pyramid is complete. So, what does that mean to the average person out there? Is there's something being worked on here that is not obvious to just the general public. It is a war underneath the scene just underneath the surface that has been going on of DNA tampering and the representation on the back of your dollar bill of those 72 bricks to an elite person, a secret society person, 72 is the equivalent of 666. And what I mean by that is when you ask someone of a secret society, 66 add a 6, you're going to say 666, but if you ask the general public, 66 out of 6, they're going to say 72. So to an elitist secret society person, 72 is the equivalent of 666. The mark of the beast is 666. 
In essence, Lucifer, the all-seeing eye, the 73rd brick, will be ruling over the 666 or the 72 underneath. It'll all be one hive mind once completed. Up at the top, Lucifer, the all-seeing eye, connected to those who take the mark of the beast, 666 underneath. The ghost in the shell. It is transhumanism. It is much deeper than an RFID chip. It is much deeper than chemtrails in the sky and Morgellons or anything like that. That is all about misinformation and fear. And the mark of the beast is something you have to choose. It's this simple, folks. In the future, there are events coming put into place right now. Um, coming to the, it, it'll be a war, transhumanism versus humans, whatever's left. Um, not five years from now, I don't believe, or ten years. I'm talking down the road. That's why it's hard for people to wrap their head around what I am sharing is transhumanism is basically you are denying Christ. You are anti-Christ. Why do I say that? Because Christ showed you the way. You come as a man and you die as a man. Hebrews 9.27, man is appointed once to die. You have to believe in that of what he showed you. He died on the cross. He overcame death. You have to follow the pattern and believe on him. That's the information. And you can sit out there all you want and say you don't believe in Christianity and all of that stuff. I am telling you, ghost in the shell, transhumanism is anti-Christ because you're trying to live and you're denying what Christ came and did. You're trying to live forever another way. So what he came and did, you don't believe in it and you're denying it and it was a waste of time. That's what you're basically saying. So you can either not believe in what I'm telling you or believe it. But that is what is being shown. Uh, it's coming to fruition from, I mean, a long time, ghost in the shell. That temple is going to be completed and you're going to want the mark of the beast in the future. That's what it's coming down to. For those, the knowledge I'm sharing is going to be forgotten. The Internet's going to come down whenever that is. What I'm sharing is for the future. And when you take the mark of the beast, you choose to upgrade yourself. You're going to be not a ghost in the shell. You're going to be a host in hell. You're going to be a host because... <laughs> and look, the Lord God is the Lord of hosts, the correct host. The other opposite of that is someone else is going to be Lord over you. And it's not going to be pretty. And that's why I'm sharing. Yeah, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just telling you what the true mark of the beast is. I have it on my website, how to count the mark of the beast, how you come up to 666. It has to do with the triple helix DNA um, upgrade that is shown in the droid DNA commercial. There you go, droid DNA commercial that, see, I'm just going to try to break it simple to you folks. Your DNA is code. It's code that is written from a creator. It is code, okay? The enemy is just trying to rewrite the code. That's all it is, trying to upgrade the code where God cannot dwell in that code anymore. You, you've downloaded yourself, your conscious, into another vessel with rewired code. That, and I hope you understand that. I think most of my followers understand that. But that's what's going on. That's what's at work here in the future, Ghost in the Shell. For you that are not familiar with Ghost in the Shell, um, the plot of Ghost in the Shell is takes place in 2029. The world is interconnected by a vast electronic network that permits every aspect of life on Earth. Much of humanity has access to this network through cybernetic bodies or shells, which possess their consciousness and can give them superhuman abilities. The hero of the film is a major Kusanagi, which is a female, investigates the puppeteer, which is a cyber criminal wanted for committing a large number of crimes by proxy through ghost hacking humans with cyber brains, hacking their brains. As the investigation continues though, here's what they find out. The puppet master is not a person. 
It's actually an advanced artificial intelligence created by the Department of Japanese Government, um, taking up residence in a host robot body. So what sounds science fiction to most is coming to fruition uh, of demon possession. This technology, Satan, the prince of the air, air waves, the things that are being used from the past, sounds, frequencies. King Solomon had the 72 goshe, or the 72 lesser keys. Keys, not a key that you put in a door. Key is a tone. Solomon knew the secret. 72, 666. He knew how to bind up the demons and make them work for him. Um, this is what's going on, is this knowledge from the past of using tones, frequencies, the prince of the air, it all comes together, technology, possessing host. When you do this in the future, when you put yourself into a position to be a transhuman or a host body um, that is not filled with the Holy Spirit and DNA code from the true creator. It is going to be with the wrong DNA codes, technology, this artificial intelligence. There is artificial intelligence and there are, is real intelligence from the creator. This is all it is. It is smoke and mirrors that I've been trying to tell people since 1998. I'm trying to warn people um, to share this and get it to people that need to see it for the future, your kids' kids. Look at the Ghost in the Shell uh, logo again. It is no accident that in the is inside the pyramid, inside the triangle. It is a inside the temple that is being built. It is a, it is a demonic temple being built. It is also no accident they're going to make this as sexy as possible um, that's why all of the anime have uh, large breasts to making it sexy. Um, the you know ghost in the shell, half naked all the time. Uh, that's the way it works. You're gonna want it. That's how uh, Satan works. Um, makes you fall with something that is seductive, the seducer, whatever you want to say. So it is no accident. And there's also the movie trailer host that came out a couple of years ago. I'll play it real quick, telling you. Again, what is up? You don't know who I am. You'll never see me coming. Almost every human has been successfully occupied. We could be taken at any moment. However, there are still pockets of human resistance. When we occupy this host, her memories will lead us to the resistance. No! What is happening? Is she resisting? It's important you stay in control of this host. So as you can see, movies tell you part of the truth, mixed with a little bit of uh, lies, but just enough to show you what is really going on. And they use actors and actresses to push Agenda 2, not just movies, but the ones that star in them. Whether the actor or the actresses know that they're being used or not, I cannot say. But if you look at, let's just take Scarlett Johansson here, Ghost in the Shell, 2017, coming out. Um, look at all the parts that she plays. She played in The Island, which she was a clone. She also plays in Hell Caesar. What, I, what did I show you earlier in this video about Caesar and the Civil War coming? She's also in Captain America, Civil War. She's also in Lucy, which she plays a part where she merges with the technology, becomes one. She's also in the movie called Her which she is the voice of an OS system, which a real-life physical person falls in love with their OS system. She is the voice of the computer or the OS system. The movie is called Her. She's also called, in a movie called Under the Skin, where just under the human skin, this black goo demon uh, entity takes control of human bodies uh, and controls them. 
So I can go on and on with the parts that she has been offered and that she plays that is serving the bigger agenda here. Um, the next part of this video, I combined a TV series that's just new out that you probably heard of, Westworld, which is a world created for entertainment for the humans to go into. It is a whole world that has been artificially created. Um, you, there's no sin. You can do whatever you want. There's no consequences here. Um, it is full of synthetic humanoids that look just like people that you would never know that they are human or not. And the kicker to this TV show is the synthetics are the AI, artificial intelligent beings, are waking up. They're starting to wake up and realize what they are, where they're at, and there's a whole nother world just beyond Westworld. And I took a Calvin Harris artist, his video, My Way, combined it together, and I'm going to give you a, a video, a little bonus video here, but uh, some of the lyrics in the Calvin Harris uh, song and video is you were the one thing in my way you were the one thing in my way and a lot of people are going to think that he is talking about an ex-girlfriend or a lover but he is talking about God the creator and that's what his goal is is once you are moved out of the way these people have chosen the technology um, you're, he's going to do it his way my way because that's the one thing that was in his way. So the merging of the artificial intelligence to the real intelligence, the merging of the virtual world to the real world, the merging of the dark and the light, the knowledge of good and evil, it's all the same. It's just repackaged for our generation of what's going on. This digital age is partly good, partly bad. I want to point out something real quick here that I don't know if I've seen anybody break this down in anybody else's videos, but notice Westworld, um, My Way, uh, Back to the Future. In order to move forward, we have to go back to the past to get some sort of technology to move forward. And notice the symbolism, the things that the people who have followed my channel is the technology of old that was destroyed, wiped out for a reason. That's what the symbolism in our faces are telling us is this old technology coming about again, the mixture of that old and the new. You'll start seeing it a lot now that I mentioned it. But also in the intro to Westworld, the trailer um, and to the show, notice that there is a piano playing with tones and frequencies. It has 88 keys. It's black and white keys. Um, notice it's in the beginning and the creation of things. They're creating these synthoids and I call them synthoids, uh, humanoids, whatever you want to say. But notice there's the piano there that is playing um, with the 88 keys. And you'll see in my other videos, if this is the first one, you'll have to check out my channel of the, the Secret 88. As above, so below. There's 88 modern constellations in the sky. To the Earth is an 8x8 chessboard um, on the Masonic uh, chessboard uh, in every Masonic Lodge in the world. Um, the as above, so below. You've got people on this Earth working with those principalities on high, creating this and using this technology. Um, Ephesians 6.12, things that we're battling on high that are not flesh and blood um, and, and dark realms, things like that. This is what it's talking about. The builders who are rejecting the true cornerstone. And a mason is a builder. And that's one of the mysteries you have to see, like I said, my channel um, to get more in-depth on it. But I'm going to play this video for you. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for watching. You can't play God without being acquainted with the devil. The problem, Bernard, is that what you and I do is so complicated. We practice witchcraft. We speak the right words. And we create life itself. Out of chaos.
With every advancement in technology, it feels like to me there's always something darker lurking. Sometimes we're too excited about how cool, how new this is. We don't want to think about the potential consequences. Don't forget, the hosts are not real. You mustn't make that mistake.